hi guys this is tech guru and uh, welcome back to my fourth uh, video on uh, creo4 and uh, this tutorial will be regarding creation of family table using an option called as patternize this option patternize is available in uh, family table box okay so we'll we'll see how to create family table using that option today i have a small request please watch this video fully as i consider that half knowledge is always dangerous okay now uh, what is the use of patternize option okay so patternize option helps you to create bolts or nuts or standard components of different nominal dia with varying length or any other dimension which you are using so for what i am doing here is i have opted m8 as my generic model okay from m8 i am going to create m8 and m10 M8 will have two lengths 35 and 40, and M10 will have two lengths 35 and 40. Okay, and uh, this is patternize is mainly used to create bolts of different nominal dia with varying lengths. Okay, in a very short period of time, uh, we will see how it is done. Okay, so what we will do is we will use M8 bolt as our uh, generic model, and we will also be using relations here to first create the generic model okay uh, so what we will be doing is we will be using these generic relations that is 8 mm as d1 d1 is the nominal dia which is equal to 8 mm then d2 is equal to d2 which is nothing but the bolt head thickness it is a 0.8 times the nominal dia hexagonal circle within which the hexagonal bolt hexagonal bolt head sits is 2 times d1 and chamfer is nothing but 0 0.1 times nominal dia okay so what we'll go well we'll do is we'll straight away go and create this generic model first and from this generic model we'll extract our uh, family table instances okay so i have already created a part named matrix bolt so what we will do is we'll start creating our generic bolt m8 okay so there it is this should be 16 i know all the values so i'll be creating it quickly then i'll be controlling it using relations which i'll explain it to you all 6.4 okay you guys don't have to remember this all that you need to do is remember the way the relations were used okay so this is it i'll set it to this then i will go here pick this set it then six sided hexagonal one is to one scale say yes i'll bring this in the middle close this this and this delete it and that's it create one more circle so it's going to be a cut on both these sides it is 6.4 done now watch how I create the chamfer for the bolt yes. then click this make this this and this tangent first set the relation okay now create a point with the reference as sketch this sketch and this plane okay so the point is created now go and create a revolve cut revolve cut which will give us chamfer pick this okay then this dimension it we want it to be 30 degrees internally okay it's done pick this axis make a cut okay so hexagonal head is ready then we'll create shank Eight mm 
of length 35 okay say yes then create a chamfer of 0.8 all right guys now the model is ready we'll click what we'll do is we'll quickly control this model using relations which will be comfortable because this model is not controlled by relations and uh, we can't create a family table if it's not controlled by relations all the features should be attached to each other and we are going to attach it by relations click, click on relations click, click on extrude one and okay now what we will do is we will control d naught with respect to d12 d12 is nothing but our nominal dia which should be 0 0.8 0 0.8 times this okay then d1 is equal to 2 times d12 go down D1, D0 and D0 and D1 is done. So we'll go here and control this chamfer also. What we will do is we'll this D14 is equal to 0 0.1 times D12. Okay. Then we come here and click on extrude 2. More are highlighted. So our D3 is again equal to uh, 0 0.8 times d12 okay so d4 d4 will be equal to uh, 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 d4 will be equal to 2 times d1 okay so that's it and then click ok control g control s okay one more relation to be added that is this chamfer so what we will do is we click on that Jumper and we'll add that small dimension over here okay that is we'll add it here d9 equals 2 times the nominal dam we'll control it as d12 okay Control it and once done, repaint it. Don't forget to regenerate. So, our generic model is ready now. Okay, now what we will do is we will create family table using patternize. We can go to family table from tools, family table, or go to model. Click here and click on family table. Okay, first click on the snob two dimensions, important dimensions that is nominal dia. It is d12 and length 35. And then say OK. Okay. Then click on this. Once that is done, this pattern is option is highlighted. What we'll do is we'll first control d12. So um, first we will try to get our uh, nominal dies that is m8 and m10. Okay. So that how many quantities we have two quantities that is m8 and m10. Then click here and then what happens is it will ask us to add instance by what adding what value we are getting m10 we get we add 2 to get m10 say enter okay then click on add directions again here we will be creating two lengths that is 35 and 40 so add two quantities okay then enter then add this 35 here and by adding what value we get 40 by adding 5 we get 40 so add this say again enter okay then say okay 
so the what we have is we have two instances m8 and m10 m8 40 m10 40 so we have m35 here we have to add 35 we have to add 35 so we have two instances actually we, what happens is it uh, the this uh, pattern is automatically decides how many instances will be created depending upon the number of quantity and number of uh, increments okay so that will be automatically calculated using permutation and combination that we don't have to bother about how many instances will be created we don't we have whatever instances are created we have to just verify whether it is right whatever we want is obtained over here or not okay so we wanted two instances for nominal dia m8 and m10 it is obtained we needed two instances for length 35 and 40 it is obtained okay now just rename it this is m10 this is m8 underscore 35 this is m10 underscore 35 okay this is m8 underscore 40 this is m10 underscore 40 okay okay so we don't need this delete rows we have to delete this also okay but what i will be doing is we don't need this it will be created just delete it and then verify success 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 close this say okay repaint it regenerate control g control d save this close the window okay so it's closed what we'll do is we'll open it we'll open this we'll we'll open this again and see what we get that's it is we have generic model when you open generic model it says that that, that we have m8 of length 35 m10 of length 35 m8 of length 40 m10 of length 40 let's open this that it is let's check it analysis dia 10 that's right length 40 perfect okay now again go to generic model then open m1035 this is let's check it analysis measure dia there it is m10 is it 35 length distance from here to here it is 35 perfect we'll check one more last open generic model this time m m840 okay so it does look right so it is dia 8 perfect and length is 40 perfect so this is how we create it we can create more out of patternized option okay so this is just a glimpse of it so i hope you have understood the importance of pattern is option in family table okay guys one last request and uh, that is if you like this video please click on like button in youtube if you have any comments please share it in youtube and please do subscribe for more video updates okay thank you guys thank you very much